Several blocks in Philadelphia's East Falls neighborhood remain without water this noon after a water main break. Well, the areas affected are West Allegheny, Ridge Avenues, and Clearfield Street. That's where we find our Shantae lands with more on what residents can expect to have water service restored. Shantae. Yeah, Jim and Rahal, I can tell you residents living on three city blocks in this area can expect to have their water fully restored by late this afternoon. That's according to the water department. Crews have been working on this water main since about 9 o'clock this morning. We are on the 3500 block of West Clearfield Street in East Falls. Now, this is one of two water main breaks. The other is in the 4000 block of Ridge Avenue. The breaks were discovered around 1230 this morning. Philadelphia Water Department says winter is the busiest season for breaks. Reps say it's not the air temperature, but the river temperature that causes the break. Cold water going through a pipe causes expansion, leading to cracks and breaks. Now, the three blocks without water are Ridge Avenue, the 3500 block of Scotts Lane, and West Clearfield Street, where we are now. And we spoke with a resident on Clearfield Street who lost his water. I had the news on, turned the news on, and they said water main break on Ridge Avenue by Allegheny. And I'm like, and I saw this, oh, that's that Corman Sweets. I said, uh oh. And I'm getting ready to get up, to, but I can't. I said, oh, they turned the water off. So just waiting for it to come back on so I can start my day. And the water department says this main on Clearfield Street was installed back in 1878. Now, when the water main breaks first happened on several locations in and around this neighborhood, had reduced water pressure. While well, the water department says that has been turned back on. As far as this street, you can expect for it to reopen by the end of the day today. That's the very latest reporting live in Philadelphia in East Falls section. Shante Lands, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Shante.